Hey guys, it's Jen, and now that it's summertime and kind of beach season, I thought it would be really fun to share with you guys what's in my beach bag. This is the bag that I'm going to be taking to the beach this summer. This is from Victoria's Secret. I just got this as a freebie with an order, but I think you can actually purchase it on its own. It's made of neoprene, which is a super cool fabric right now, I guess. And then it has this netted part in the front with a little snap so you can hold little important things in that pocket. It's got a couple little rope straps so you can just wear it like a backpack. The first thing I wanted to show you guys is my swimsuit for this year. It's super, super adorable and I'm a little bit obsessed with it. It's from Amuse Society. I love the little embellishments and honestly it reminds me of the Little Mermaid, you know, when she has the shells on her boobs and she's like, Ah, like that when she's like busting over the rocks. Ah, I wish I was a mermaid. So this is the top and then the bottoms are really cute because it's like not really mix and match because the colors match, but it's this really adorable eyelet fabric. I really, really love it. And I feel like the bandeau style is also really cool this year. One nice thing about this swimsuit in particular is that it has that cool U shape design in the front, but it also has the removable pads so that, you know, you have a little extra protection in the front if you know what I mean. Next, I wanted to share with you guys the cover-up that is in the bag. This is of course something that's just like really easy and breezy that you can throw over to get a little more coverage when you're walking around on the beach or afterwards. This one is from Bohemian Bones. It has a scarab beetle embroidered in the back. And this looks so classy and cool. This is a little excuse of having bugs be cool for once. Obviously, I'm going to be needing my sandals for the beach. These are the Sam Edelman GG sandals and they're they're just your classic T-strap sandals. These are ones that I've had for years. They're a little bit beat up, which I feel like is really perfect for going to the beach because I never want to take my really nice sandals and get them all gross and sandy, but they're a little more stylish because they have some metallic on it. And you can honestly dress them up or down as in you can just wear them with your swimsuit, it'll look fine, but then you can also wear them with nice clothes, a change of shorts and a shirt over it later on and it'll still work just as well. If you bring an extra Ziploc bag or some kind kind of plastic bag to put them in. That is always really helpful. <laughs> I always put on sunscreen before I head out to the beach, but I also like taking one while I'm there because you have to reapply every couple of hours to get the best sun protection. And you guys know I'm a big fan of sunscreen and sun protection, so I like this one in particular. This is the Kula Sport SPF 30 Fresh Cucumber Sunscreen. It just has this little spray bottle, so it's super easy to apply. Plus, it's always nice when things smell like fresh cucumber versus just your typical sunscreen smell. I also need a lot of eye sun protection as well so I always take a pair of sunnies with me. These are from Quay. If you guys saw my last lookbook video these were in there. I don't know are you guys a fan of the circular sunglasses? I think they're kind of like really bohemian and super cute. I also like that they're like really covering over your eyeballs. It gives a lot of sun protection and it looks very like current. <laughs> you can't forget about your lips if you're talking about sun protection. So I carry a lip balm with me. This is one of my favorites. This is the Shiseido Water in Lip in the Pear Scent. I try to always take something that's hydrating and it's extra good if it has a little bit of SPF in there as well so your lips don't get burned. If you're out in the hot, hot heat on the sand, you gotta remember your water. This is the BKR glass water bottle. I think between myself and my husband, we have like maybe five of them that we just rotate through. It makes water taste really clean and fresh and it doesn't get that weird plasticky or aluminum tinged taste when you put them in a metal or plastic container. This is glass, so it doesn't change the taste of the water at all. This particular one I got from a Tarte Cosmetics event, which I think is super adorable. I'm a huge fan of lavender. I think this is really pretty. It helps me to remember to drink more water if my water bottle is really cute. It's the worst feeling in the world to leave and just have all of those sand particles stuck on your feet and not have anything to wipe it off. I know this sounds a little silly, but sometimes when I get these little 
disposable hand wipes from like restaurants or like just out and about, I'll hold on to them and they're really nice to take to the beach because you're not having to take a whole container of wet wipes or something. It's just nice to have something really tiny and portable in your bag. I believe wet ones, I'm a huge fan of wet ones. You can also get them in little like packs where you just have a few of them. I love keeping those with me in my beach bag. One last thing you have to take with you to the beach is of course a beach towel or blanket and this is mine. It's super important to be able to like sit on something instead of the hot sand or air dry. Mm. I got this as a freebie maybe last year from Victoria's Secret as well. I've used it on the beach a couple of times and it's just really handy because it's a very large size and you can also dry off with it. Plus it's not too thick. So I feel like it takes up less bulk in my bag. That's the last thing in what I take with me to the beach. I try not to carry too many things, even my little things like my sunscreen or my lip balm. I just try to have like little tiny containers so that I have everything I need, but it's not too cumbersome. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and maybe this will help you the next time you're headed out to the beach just to remember to take a little bit of everything. Also, if you have anything that are must have that you always take with you to the beach. Let me know that down in the comments because I'm going to be headed to tropical locations a lot this year and I want to remember to check everything off my list. So if you enjoyed watching this, I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up on the video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel to see more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, it's Jen and it's time for May favorites. I love some of the new products I've been using this month. Hey guys, this is Jen and today I wanted to share with you how I style my new shorter hair. 